Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can simplify your sketches, how to draw with fewer lines, how to draw with less details, but still make what you are drawing recognizable. So this is the detailed sketch that I will be simplifying. Here's a zoom in at the details. There is a clock tower here behind the main building. And you can see the windows, they are very detailed, very sketchy, yes, but very detailed. There are lines on the surface of the wall, staircase, there's this banner here. This sketch was drawn with a falcon nib, a nib that produces very thin lines, which makes drawing details easy. But in this tutorial, I'll be talking about simplification. So we don't want to draw so much details because it can be quite time consuming to add so much details. These are the simplified sketches. This was drawn with less details, fewer lines, but the building is still recognizable. This was drawn with even less details, even fewer lines. This was drawn with really thick lines, but the building is still recognizable. This was drawn with thin lines as well, but this was drawn really small, so I wasn't able to add any details. So this was drawn with as few lines as the one drawn with thicker lines. The first tip to simplifying your sketch is to draw from big to small. And when you run out of space to draw the details, you can leave them out. Now this applies to drawing on a small piece of paper as well as on a larger piece of paper. On a larger piece of paper, you will have more space to draw to add details. So you have to add details, otherwise your sketch can look unfinished but if you are drawing on a smaller piece of paper you don't have to add that much detail so here i have with me an a4 size paper which i have divided into smaller areas to draw on so i'm going to try and squeeze this sketch into this area here this is about half the size of this this is not going to be a complete reproduction of that earlier sketch you saw. I just want to talk about my thought process when it comes to simplification. So let's draw from big to small. Now for this building, I want to draw the structure first. I want to draw the big shapes first. So I want to draw the top, the roof. The roof seems to be protruding out slightly, so I need to draw that protruding part there. And this tilts down slightly. And I want to draw the main uh, front of the building. Let's draw it all the way down to the bottom here. And this is about three units, two units. So I want to divide this part into three and two. And this part here, this divider here seems to be extruding out slightly as well. So I want to draw the extrusion. Basically for any lines, for any parts that are extruding, for any lines that contribute to the form, to the physical form of the structure, I want to draw those lines. So for example, this vertical line here contributes to the change of the plane from this side to this side. This line needs to be drawn. And yep, so what I've done here is very, um, straightforward just draw the big shapes first and later on we can fill in the details like the windows uh, later on so we have the background this building in the background and we have this um, tower here it's a clock tower with a dome at the top okay so now we have we almost have the big ships drawn and we have this statue here which I'm just going to um, draw really simply because I want to talk about the stand that is below okay so this stand again we need to draw the big shape first 
I'm drawing the lines that contribute to the form of the, to the stand. I am not drawing the lines that are on the surface. There are actually a lot of lines on this rectangular block, but I'm not drawing those because those do not contribute to the form of this stand. I'm going to make this shorter because I'm running out of space here. But that's basically the gist of this first tip. Draw from big to small and if you don't have space, if you run out of space, you can just leave out the details. Okay, so by the way, I have created a tutorial for this, for the earlier sketch. You may want to watch that. The link will be in the video description below. I think that video that I made earlier that was talking about um, drawing with really thin lines. Okay, so that's the first tip. Draw from big to small. As you can see, my sketch is really sketchy. If you take a look at the photos, you can see some extruding parts here. You can choose to draw those parts or leave them out. If you have the space, you can draw them, but if you don't have the space to draw them, you can just leave them out. It seems like I do have the space there. For the second tip on simplification, it's to leave out the lines that do not contribute to the form of the structure. So for example, I see parallel lines that run across the surface of this building. You can actually just leave those lines out. Don't draw them. There is no need to draw them because they do not contribute to the form, to the physical structure of the buildings. Those are actually just details. If you really do want to draw those lines, you can draw them with very thin lines, but you can really just uh, leave them out. So for example, with this window here, I want to add the windows. I want to add the grills on this side here, but I do not want to draw the parallel lines that run on the surface of this wall. I may want to add this thin line at the top for that little bit of extra detail, but I don't want to draw those parallel lines. These windows actually contribute to the form of the structure because these windows are actually recessed into the wall. So you have to draw them recessed into the wall. For this little info plaque here on this stand, you don't actually need to draw it because that does not contribute to the form of this structure. When you're painting with watercolor, you can just paint that plaque in, but you don't have to draw that with black lines. When it comes to a simplification, you really have to use your own artistic license or artistic interpretation of the scene. So for example, here I've just drawn the shapes for the windows and now I'm going to try and add details to the windows. Now these windows are actually recessed into the wall, but in this case here, I'm just going to draw them flat as if the windows are flat on the wall because it's very difficult for me to draw them uh, recessed into the wall. So if I were to draw this window recessed into the wall, I have to draw the thickness of the wall. See that? And now it becomes very difficult for me to draw the window panes. So instead of drawing something like this, I'm just going to draw the window panes like this. All right? Suggestions of the window panes because here I am already running out of space. So here I'm adding dots to suggest the uh, windows. So when you run out of space, just stop <laughs> adding the details. Or when you find it really difficult to add details, or if you are at a stage when you are drawing and you don't know what else to draw, that's the stage where you can actually just stop drawing. Sometimes you can choose not to add details for the elements that are at the outer edges, or you can choose not to add details for areas where you don't want people to look at. 
so for example I want people to focus on this building so for this building I'm going to add more details but for the building in the background here and maybe for the wall on the side here I am not going to add details for that so I'm just going to let people imagine how those um, windows are going to look like I can draw the windows here or maybe I can draw a window here but I don't want to draw the window pane so people can imagine or fill in the shapes of the window panes themselves here I'm not even closing the box I let the lines just run out of the page and here this building um, I'm going to draw the big shapes but I'm not going to add the details for this clock tower I can see the clock very obviously so I want to draw the clock but otherwise um, those little details I'm just going to add vertical lines or very short lines or dots to suggest the details so this sketch was drawn with fewer lines less details but you can see this scene this building it's still recognizable so as long as you can capture the shape the proportion the perspective the structure accurately you can add some details here and there you don't have to add a lot of details as long as you can capture the big shapes the structure accurately your scene the subject that you're drawing is still going to look recognizable now if you happen to be someone who absolutely needs to draw details I mean you can't help it you just like to draw a lot of details but you want to simplify um, you can actually force yourself to simplify by using or drawing with a thick pen so for example let me just redraw this scene again this time with a pen that produces a very thick line so once again I want to draw the big shapes with a pen like this you won't be able to draw details because this pen just doesn't allow you to draw details you can draw with a blunt pencil as well so same thing I just want to draw the big shapes with thick lines like this the sketch that you will get it's going to look very stylized almost cartoony so we have this clock tower in the background ideally when you draw elements in the background you should draw them with thinner lines this is to create the separation of foreground and background and distance so notice this sketch again it's coming to life even though there is like no details to speak of we have the statue here notice the stand it's now very simplified now for the windows this time i am just going to draw the shape i'm not going to draw the frame of the window like a rectangle or square within a square I'm just going to draw the shape like this and I still want to add a little dots there to suggest that these are windows the bottom here remember those are little details there I can still choose to add them but this time I just draw them with short lines like this so here you see this sketch it's also pretty recognizable so this is drawing with thick lines force yourself to simplify another way to force yourself to simplify is to draw really small so now I'm going to draw this same building uh, really small again remember the first tip that I have for you draw the big shapes first and when you run out of space you can leave out the details now if you are drawing really small you won't be able to add details because it's just not possible okay see the sketch again is starting to come alive I will still want to draw the clock tower in the background but for the clock this time it's just represented by dots and for the windows I won't be able to add details uh, on the windows I won't be able to draw the window panes anymore so I'm just going to draw the shapes and because this wall here it's so compressed 
all these windows here are going to be represented by just vertical lines now when you practice drawing like this drawing with so few details uh, the more practice you get the more familiar you will be with simplifying your sketch so these are how the sketches look all right i hope this tutorial is helpful if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below and if you want to check out more drawing tutorials you can visit my youtube playlist the link is in the video description below